It was a storm that swallowed a city. An estimated mile-wide tornado made a direct hit this evening on Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Population 180,000. Mass casualties are reported. The number's still in flux. But storm fatalities also reported tonight in Mississippi, Georgia, and Tennessee. These twisters part of a storm system that began to sweep the south on Monday. Steve Osinsami has been covering it and joins us now from Lincoln, Alabama with the latest. Steve. Bill, it was a frightening night. First, there was the sound of the sirens from city to city that you could hear blaring through the night. Then there was the sight of the funnel clouds racing across the sky, bringing high winds and tornadoes, hopscotching all across the state. The mile-wide tornado struck at dinner time. Oh, it's getting big, 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 big. That's huge. Oh, I got lightning. So Wrapped in rain, it was difficult to see, but filled the entire sky, leaving behind what looks like a war zone. Uh, this thing is massive. The pictures of the skies over Alabama this evening were frightening. Unbelievably large tornadoes swirling over large sections of Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. Some of them appear to be more than a mile wide. It looks like we got hit by a you know, 5,000 pound bomb here. The sirens that started blaring early this evening will continue through the night. Over the weekend, 70 tornadoes in 70 states, but what happened here in Joplin was certainly the worst. Just take a look at right around us. There are at least six cars mashed into a ball here with a chain link fence and building debris and trees all mashed in. Take a look in the door of this car. It's a Chevy, I think, but you can see a brick coming through the door and then look at how the door is just riddled and punched all the way through with these holes. It looks like it was shot at by a machine gun and anyone that was in that car wouldn't have survived. Right? It's really um, it chokes you up when you see what's happened here, Paul. I mean, uh, take a look. I mean, it's everything. It's just completely demolished. I mean, homes are, are destroyed. Families, lives have been, been turned upside down at this point. And uh, people are just looking for their loved ones. They're looking for family members. If you take a look here at this neighborhood, all, all I can say is it looks very reminiscent of what we saw last month in. Excuse me. In uh, Tuscaloosa. There's simply nothing recognizable left on the 2500 block of Murphy Street. Even the road sign is gone. But this isn't the only street in Joplin that looks like this. Across this city, there are dozens, perhaps even hundreds, just like this. James Dixon was in his house when a tornado barreled through his neighborhood. He and his girlfriend survived, but as for their home, it didn't make it. Hell. Exactly what it is. Been through hell. No other way to describe it. Day, the hail fell hard. It's been about every day, every six hours or so, we'll have tornadoes, severe damage around the area. The map is ugly. Tornadoes across several states, more than 45 of them since this morning, one after another, 20 alone in Alabama. From up here. But from the air, this disaster takes on a whole new dimension. You are looking at the beginning of seven miles of pure hell, the path of the Joplin tornado. From the ground, it's pretty terrible. From the air, it's hard to believe when you look and see the swath of damage. Entire neighborhoods wiped off the map. Yeah, we just took a tour, uh, and I, I've got to say, I've never seen devastation like this.
This is all that's left of Marysville, Indiana, a town of 2,000 that seems to have been wiped off the map by one of a record 70 or more tornadoes that swept across the U.S. midsection on Friday. Rescue crews sorted through the rubble in the search for survivors. In nearby Henryville, the damage was almost as bad. A school bus was tossed into a building. The high school's roof ripped off just after students were evacuated. The first funnel clouds of the day crossed the skies of northern Alabama. If I think run, run my they were followed by dozens more twisters, blotting the map in three other states further north. The force of the tornadoes turning houses into junk piles. They struck with almost no warning. Ran out the front door in the pouring rain and turned around and man, my house is totaled. Others were spared only by chance. I got up and looked out the window and I saw wood everywhere and I really didn't realize what it was. And then I came downstairs and opened my front door and saw that both the houses on the side of me were gone. As the evening progressed, the storms moved onward. More tornado warnings were issued for Tennessee's capital of Nashville. The U.S. Weather Service ranking Friday as one of the worst extreme weather days of the year, affecting one-tenth of the entire U.S. population. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera. As it went across a, a, a transport company, uh, trees flying through the air, semi, the, the, the trailers, there you go, a couple of semi, look at that, the beds of the trailers hurling, twirling around in the sky and then dropping down from at least 50 feet high down into the ground. We saw trees, there goes another semi. And it's up, spinning. It's as spinning, it's... down it comes, bang, lands, lands on its nose right down at the ground. Big piece of uh, a tree there that just got hurled up, I believe it was. So uh, certainly we have seen a destructive tornado on the south side of Dallas, still within parts of the uh, area near south of Grapevine, uh, north of Arlington, a possible tornado in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex area, as well as over on the east side of uh, Dallas, uh, in toward the area around uh, the uh, Mesquite area, just to the west of Mesquite. Nearly 7 million people in Dallas and Fort Worth have been living through an assault by giant tornadoes. And look how powerful they are. At first, it looks like a paper flying through the air, but those are tractor trailers tossed through the sky. The storms snap power lines, each bright light another one down, and the schools are on lockdown. Frightened first grade children told to huddle against the wall. And ABC's weather editor Sam Champion has been tracking these storms for us. The twisters rampage through Dallas neighborhoods, tearing the roofs off homes and peeling walls off buildings. Take cover. This is a very dangerous storm. These residents run for cover. Get in the house! <laughs> in one Arlington school, students, including these first graders, ordered to duck and cover. The National Weather Service called at least two tornadoes large and extremely dangerous. Just look at their power. Bowling over tractor trailers, lifting several off the ground and hurling them through the air. Take a look at that again and keep in mind these trucks weigh at least 30,000 pounds empty. After the tornado passed, the overturned vehicles laid scattered across the ground. The intense storm that set off the twisters dropped golf ball to baseball size hail and made driving nearly impossible. And take a look at this. It's a sight no driver wants to see. The twisters tore a path of destruction around Dallas and its suburbs. Reporter Brad Watson of our ABC affiliate WFAA describes the damage in Arlington. There are homes severely damaged like this and also others just destroyed in this area. This is the underside of a camper. Where was the camper? 70 yards down the street. At the Dallas-Fort Worth airport, the twisters came too close for comfort. All ground traffic came to a complete standstill for several hours as officials inspected the planes for possible damage. Three people were killed as tornadoes struck four U.S. states on Christmas Day. Twisters first pounded Texas. Others then touched down in Louisiana and Mississippi. One headed straight for the center of Mobile, Alabama, tearing up residential and commercial areas, causing severe power cuts.
Just look at all these. There, there's clouds rotating, bubbling around back there. And there's, look back here. There we are, folks. Is that it, man? Yeah, have... it looks like there's, there might be very well a tornado on the ground there. That is south, looking towards Brookley Field, looking down towards uh, DIP. If you're in those areas, you need to be in shelter. That is a tornado oh, yeah, on the it. ground. That is a tornado on the ground. A tornado. Significant one. Yeah, that is, that, is yeah. Mo that is mobile, folks. This is tornado. You can see debris flying as well. Uh, oh, power flashes popping. off there, yeah. There is a tornado on the ground, folks. If you're listening to us, you're in Mobile County. You need to be in shelter at this point. South of Brooklyn Field, DIP, you need to be in shelter. There is a tornado on the ground. Oh, here. yeah. Transformers blowing up. There is debris flying. There goes a huge transformer. Wow. This is right here in the city of Mobile, folks. Going through Look the Midtown that. area, this is a tornado.